Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. We're picking off where we left off in part two. We're solving this equation that uh, we have a polynomial asking where the roots are. So earlier we used the PQ theorem and isolated the possible roots are hiding among this eight numbers instead of HESAC, where it's actually hiding among those numbers. So we're looking, hunting for this truffle. Okay, where are the roots? And then in part two, we said f of uh, minus half actually is equal to zero. Now, to do this one, root is x equal to minus half. Okay, there are two methods you can do. You can evaluate this function back in there, and you can see that's a zero. Or my favorite method is actually use, use synthetic division. In part two, I said oh, we will take a little more time and uh, take a look at this one. That's just a minus a half. So let's actually try this one. Okay, minus half over here. So minus two goes over here. And copy done. And multiply this one. It's a plus one. I have a minus four times those two. Uh, let's see what I have. Plus two here. And then times this one is just plus eight times that. Minus half times plus eight. I have a minus four. So zero. Yay. So we have a found our root. What really is happening here is basically fx dividing by x plus half. Now this is the interesting part. The synthetic division has a little quirk in that you must put the root here. Okay. In long division, you divide whatever you have. So when you divide the root, which is minus half, you really actually dividing x plus half. Because x plus half, if you set it equal to zero, Okay, that gives you the root x equal to minus half. Okay, this is a little quirk on the synthetic division. You must remember put the roots here directly. The, the basic math behind this really is instead of doing long division where you use subtraction, synthetic division here, you're actually adding each one of the numbers. Okay, that's the only difference. It's not a big deal, but it does make life a little difficult if you don't remember the sign here. Anyway, so what we did over here is basically we're saying, look, this function divided by x plus 2 is equal to minus 2. Now we started a cube here. After we divide x to the 1, we reduce the power by one order, okay, equal to this. Now, this is really another way to say, look, function can be rewritten as x plus half times minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 8. Okay, that's all what synthetic division is all about. Finding what the remainder equal to 0, basically plus the remainder, which is 0. Okay, how do we rewrite this one such that I can completely factor it. As we said in uh, first part of the series, the reason we want to factor it is that we want to reduce this polynomial from a third degree, that's starting from here, down to a second degree. Okay, so we can use quadratic formula. And from here, quadratic formula allow us to find the remaining roots, which is, as you remember earlier, truffles. Remember, we're hunting for the truffles. Okay, so at this point, let's use quadratic for, use quadratic formula for this part. Minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 8. Okay, if we were to solve for this one, let's call it a g of x. You use x is equal to minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac. Hopefully by now it's ingrained in you using the coefficient in there, you'll see x is equal to, um, let's say I did this one earlier, to save some time for us. So I have x is equal to uh, 2 minus 1 plus minus 5 over 2a in the bottom, it's 2. So 2 and 2 cancels. So my two roots are x equal to minus 1 plus radical 5 and x equal to minus 1 minus radical 5. Okay, so we're almost there. We're 90% there. We already sniffed out of where the truffles are. Okay, so back over here, I asked the computer to solve it. It found 
three roots over here, and you recognize this is the last two we were looking for. Okay, so back over here, we had this big long polynomial to start with. Let's see if I can still find it. Cube minus 5x squared plus 6x plus 4. We're using the PQ theorem to find that one of the root is minus a half, and then we used PQ theorem and synthetic division, or if you prefer you can use long division, but I wouldn't advise it, okay? And then this one, we said, well, this one, if you do a synthetic division on that, it's gonna be equal to minus 2x squared minus 4x plus eight, okay? And then, using the quadratic formula, you have x minus another root, two, x minus another root, three, where the root three, two, is equal to minus one minus radical five, root three is equal to minus one plus radical five. Using the uh, quadratic formula, you can find this. So basically, we rewritten our fx into three parts, part one, part two, part three. So therefore, the roots for fx is here, x equal to minus half, you set this part equal to zero, okay? And then over here, this part is using the quadratic formula, root is minus one minus radical five, minus one plus radical five. And this one is confirmed by our computer cooperating here, minus one minus radical five, minus one plus radical five. And here are three beautiful truffles at last, okay? So back to our pig looking for truffles. Think of the roots as hunting for truffles, okay? All right, and this is how we handle out digging out the roots for polynomial. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. Uh, please comment or thumb up if uh, it has been helpful. Till next time, have a confident day.